guys. As Jeff gets ready, he's going to make an opening statement, and then we'll take it for questions. Appreciate you guys all being on. Um, just really proud of the way we played, you know, in a game where probably nobody gave us a chance to win the game or probably be on the same field with them. Our guys came out with confidence. They came out believing one each in, one in each other. They came out and believing in their coaching staff. I thought the coaches did an unbelievable job with the game plan. We took it to the number one team in the country. And that's a really good team. Credit to Coach Sweeney and their staff and their players. We knew they weren't going to roll down in the second half, and they didn't. They have some explosive players on both sides of the ball, and um, they did a nice job in the second half. Um, you know it hurts. There's no excuses. They beat us. They played. They played a good game. And I give credit to them. But I'm proud of this team. Anybody who watched this team play today, anyone who watched the confidence of this team, anyone who watched and could see how much these kids love each other and everything they're giving, then they should see what's coming because we are. And I said it all along. It's going to take time and it's going to be hard, but we're coming and they're coming, and I'm proud of them. And we will stick together and we will get better. Yeah, it is. It's different, but we have to treat it. We will go to Julian. Just a reminder, media, if you can, mute your line. Oh, Jeff, can you? Yeah, I can I hear you. Got, yeah, still in the background. Is that what it was? Is that okay? Are we good? I can hear you. I heard, I heard it. Okay, never mind. Um, from last week to now, right, like a lot of the focus is on Clemson. And then obviously when Trevor revealed that he had COVID, more of the focus was put on Clemson. I think one of your points was that it's not about them, it's about us. How did you kind of re- emphasize that message uh, all week and especially going in once, once you guys got on the field. Yeah, I mean, this, this was about us. It has been the whole time. It didn't matter Trevor Lawrence didn't play. I mean, they have great players. I mean, they have a great O-line. They have the best running back, in my opinion, in the country, and they have all receivers who are going to get drafted in a great defense. I never even talked about Trevor not playing. This game was about us getting better, offense, defense, and special teams, and playing complimentary football. And were we up for the challenge? Were these kids doing – were they really going to believe we could win this game? Seriously, did these kids deep down really believe they could win this game? Because in my opinion, and coming from a team that was ranked number one in the country for a lot of the year last year, a lot of times the game's won before it's played. This team beats people before the game's even played because people don't believe. But what these kids showed today, they believe in each other. And they believe in the staff. And that's so impressive. And it hurts and it's hard, trust me. But it's really impressive by these players. We'll go next, Rich. Hi, Jeff. Uh, I was just on that uh, final, uh, not the final drive, but the, the when you had the fourth and nine, would you think of going a little more underneath? Why did they go for the home run ball on that on that play? It was there. We, we felt it. it. And, um, you know, we thought we could take a shot and make a big play with what they were in, Rich. Um, I thought Coach Signetti called a really, really good game. And if you look in that first half, one of the best defenses in the country with one of the best defensive coordinators in the country, they couldn't stop our offense. That's impressive. Impressive from the staff, impressive execution from the players. I mean, it's incredible. We put up, I don't know how many we scored in that first half. Um, 28 points in the first half against Clemson. Are you kidding me? We'll go next to AJ. Uh, in the fourth quarter, Jakovic uh, took a big hit, and Gorsell came in and made a big play for you guys. Can you talk about what that meant to your team to have a guy come off the bench cold and make a big play for you? I think it defines our team and what we're all about. A guy who started last year gets beat out, watches Phil get all the accolades. All he does is do his job. And that's what this that's what this team is all about. So when it's his time, he knows the play, he knows what he's doing, and potentially one of the biggest plays of the game. I can't tell you, when he made that play, guys, that to me was probably my favorite moment of the game because it sums up what we're trying to do here. And I just felt like this is right. And we're doing this right. And no matter what happens, it's stuff like that that you coach for. We'll go to Trevor. Hey, Jeff, uh, could you just describe the sequence there with uh, the fake field goal and then touchdown to CJ, kind of two crazy plays right in a row? Yeah, it, it wasn't really a fake field goal. We were just, we had a plan to try to get him to jump and, uh, and it worked. And um, we knew after that that we would wind up kicking, it, we'd wind up going for it. So I just wanted to try, we wanted to try to do something to, throw them off and it was in the game plan and I'd start it we wanted to call it and it just it felt like the perfect opportunity to call it we'll go to Kevin coach you're up 28 10 um all the momentum in the world but they find a way to kick that field goal 
right before halftime. Uh, how big was that? And uh, did you did it feel like it kind of, you know, took the wind out of your sails just a bit? No, I think if they scored a touchdown, it would have. But I was proud of the defense for stopping them there. I thought making them kick a field goal. Anytime you can stop the offense with that firepower and hold them to a field goal, I think it's momentum. And we had it going in the locker room. And the kids were fired up in the locker room. But we knew we knew what this team was all about. We knew the game was nowhere near over. If you look, I mean, they scored almost 80 points in games and 60-something points in games. And um, so I felt really good going into halftime. And... You know, we felt good in the, hey, we had, we had the ball with a chance to beat Clemson at Clemson in the fourth quarter. Um, and they made some nice plays at the end of the game. We'll go to Andy. Jeff, you talked about the importance of controlling the clock this week. And, you know, you guys struck first twice really quickly. And then that seven and a half minute drive at the end of the second half. And then towards the end of the game, you take the ball, you, you run the clock down, you have that final shot. It was that the strategy coming in to kind of wind the clock down, especially at the end of halves. Yeah, it, I kind of mentioned it earlier. For for me, it's all about possessions. I constantly look at the clock, constantly try to figure out. I knew they were averaging seven or eight possessions a half, 14 in a game. And with that much firepower, you just can't give them that many opportunities because it's hard to get off the field against them. So certainly we wanted to use the clock the best we could, but at the same time, we wanted to be aggressive on offense. So I think, I think our staff did a nice job there. We'll go next to Emma. Hey, Coach. Um, Emma. So Obviously, playing the top team in the country, you know, there's a lot of pressure, and you guys are going to have to get a little creative both on offense and defense. What did you see from Coach Cignetti and Coach Lukabu that you guys haven't shown the last couple of weeks? We, we didn't get, truthfully, Emma, we, we didn't come into this game plan drawing up trick plays and, and new things. Uh, on defense, we ran what we ran, but our game plan was going to be to take away number nine. You know, um, you see that guy take over a game, so we were going to do everything we could to stop the back. I mean, I had it on my call sheet written down, stop number nine. But we do what we do. We line up and we play, and we didn't, we didn't invent anything. Um, offensively, same thing. We just we keep getting better. Um, you saw we ran the ball well. We threw the ball well. We just we executed, and we do what we do. Uh, I'm not going to get into this, you know, draw up stuff in the sand because of who we're playing. Our job each week is to get better, go out and compete, and play for each other, and I think we did that. We'll go next to Dennis. Hear me okay? Yeah, Dennis, how you doing? Hey, Jeff, uh, great job today. Um, I, I wonder just your general thoughts on uh, on DJ. I know you wanted to stop Travis, but you know, at any point, did you think you could rattle him? Um, I did. I, I thought, you know, we pressured him a bunch. They did a good job protecting. So I don't think we did a great job on third down. Um, we did try to rattle him. We tried to get after him on third down. Um, but again, it, Dennis, it was it was stop number nine, stop number nine, stop number nine. And I told everybody, if DJ beats us today, then hats off to him. You know, and if you told me this was going to be a game in the fourth, I would sign up for it and try to go down and beat him. Just looking at him, he's a big kid. I saw him a lot in high school. I recruited one of his teammates. I was there at practice, probably saw him throw four times. He's got a big time arm. He's, he's a very big kid and he's got a bright future. Um, would I have loved to rattle him a little bit more? Yeah, they did a good job protecting and executing. Um, you know, so hats off to him, Dennis. He's going to be a really good football player. We'll go next to Julian. So, I had two really quickly. Um, one, uh, I think you guys have him down 14 in the first half, and that's like completely foreign territory for this team. For this team. I don't think they've been down 14 in a regular season game since like 2014 or something like that. Um, do you, at that point, do you think like, hey, they're going to make a push. We got to keep them off the field and we got to get stops. So, you're saying like, hey, you know, this is a little bit. This is different for them. Let's take advantage, you know. No, it's 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 fourteen nothing on the scoreboard. But Julian, you know what that you know what that deal is all about. They can score so fast, so fast, and um, it never got away from us. Which should give the defense credit, even at the end, to hold them on third and one. No one stops them on third and one. They've been a hundred percent on third and one this year. The way our players fought at the end, and and I hope people give this this these players credit. It's third and one at the end of the game with, in my opinion, the best back in the country and an incredible line. Our guys never quit. We got off the field on third and one, forced them to punt. With a minute left, we had a chance to go win the game. That says so much about these kids. Yeah. I mean, we made mistakes, and we'll look at the film, but I'm sure they did too. And then as a follow-up, right, like, um, obviously you, did, you said you didn't talk much about Trevor, but it, 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 in any way was it a reminder that, you know, yeah, you're going to play a big game, you're in the middle of the season, but 
you know, this, the, the, the COVID situation, the protocols, they're serious and they're real and, and they affect everybody and anybody, you know, and how do you kind of handle that with your team? Well, yeah, it, it is a reminder. Um, and I think you see it every day with more and more people getting it. Again, we, it's something else. I think now we're over 6,000 tests with, with no net, with no positive tests. So our guys are doing a pretty ing- incredible job. The leadership of the school is doing an incredible job. It's a daily reminder. It's not, you know, it's not just seeing Trevor get it. It's a daily reminder by our staff and our players to our players and showing how much they care about each other and, and, and keeping each other safe, you know? And again, don't, don't take anything away from, from this team or our team either. I mean, Trevor Lawrence is, yeah, I think he's going to be an incredible NFL player. Um, but Trevor's, not, Trevor's probably not going to be there next year. And, and that's the team, you know what I mean? And, and look at what our players were able to do. So Ton of respect for Trevor, and I, I hope Trevor is getting better, and I hope he feels better, and I hope he's back next week. And uh, you guys know how I feel about him, but don't take don't take away from this football team that's who they are going to be. We'll go next to Kevin. Coach, we've talked a lot this year about uh, Grant Carlson and what a weapon that he's been. Uh, he had the two punts inside the five; both of them are negated. Um, you had the Jalen Gill touchdown negated today. Again, penalties have been critical. Um, first, can you just speak to Grant and, and what he's been able to do? And then, uh, again, the penalty issues this week. Yeah, you know, our, I'll speak about the penalties today. Our, our kids play hard, man. And the one Max just kind of pushed, pulled, and snagged the kid, you know, they called it. Um, McDuffie's playing on the edge on one, and he, you know, he late hits the quarterback. There's a fine line. And, you know, we're going to try to get everything we can get out of these kids. And yeah, I'll coach it better and, and we'll fix that. But I thought we were way cleaner today than we've been. Um, Grant's been huge. I mean, Grant is just as important as any player offense, defense that we have. I mean, he is a weapon. He kept coming back and knocking in and boom, did a great job again today. So I love Grant. He's doing an awesome job. Jeff, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. All right, guys. Thanks. We will have Brandon.